Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. Then on Sunday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Chris Paul, Griffin out there with Barnes. Then there's J.J. Redick, and it's Hollins in at the three, the five. And for the Knicks, they've got Ewing. Johnson is out there with Ward, and it's Houston in at the two. Well, certainly some names on the floor, Greg, that we've seen in the NBA for many years. That in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with a grizzled group on the floor? And, Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. Vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look. We, and we should see a clean game here tonight. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Paul with the ball. Barnes outside. Paul with the screen for Barnes. Offline with his three. Well, it was the Clippers, their last game a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Ward. The pass to Ewing. Drops in the layup for two. Ewing's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Knicks. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. Passes to Reddit. There's the three. That one misses. Pass to Houston. From downtown, a three-pointer is right on target. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Reddick with the bucket. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Pass to Johnson. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Houston. Now the pass to Sprewell. Here's Moore. Let's it go with the three. Drops in the tray. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Next and here are the Clippers now. It's a five-point game. Outside Griffin. Back to Paul. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Houston, the pass to Springwood. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. On the basket by Ewing. Ewing's got his second bucket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. And so here are the Clippers. This, their first look at this year's New York squad. And remember, they won both games in this matchup last year. No small feat. Now, these two teams could easily end up meeting to decide the NBA championship. Tonight could be a preview of something with more on the line down the road. New York's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And so it's New York with it, following the miss by Griffin. This is it to Ewing. And it's in there. Ewing's got six points. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Paul kicks to Reddick. Johnson against Griffin. Shoots over Johnson. A nice shot by Griffin. Boy, that bucket had a high degree of difficulty. Okay, Blake, we see you. 
and first quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Houston from outside off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Call a screen on Johnson. Call outside. There's the triple. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. A clever play by Paul. He, he makes sure to get some contact and draw the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Really a, a good season for him overall last year when you look at the number, 83% from the line. He misses the free throw. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. And he's good on the second. Uh, Chris Paul is as skilled as any player who's played the point guard position. His fundamentals are on point. Nails the third. Such an early part of the season, Doris. Most teams are still getting used to each other. Yeah, I think what people don't realize is that it's not just a change on the court. It means new personalities in the locker room, the team playing, team meals. It can be a big change, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. In such a rhythm right now, feathery touch. He's lighting them up. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for L.A. Trailing by four. That one drops for him. Paul's got seven points. This guy is just so smooth offensively. The ability to get to the floater game for Chris Paul, so important. The Knicks have gone six of nine, shooting it well. Here's Freewell. No scoring in this one. Here's Ewing, and again, it's New York. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Clippers trail by four. Paul looking around. He kicks to Barnes. Outside, Reddick. Griffin sets the screen for Reddick. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, he has five. Proving he's more than just an outside shooter. Reddick also has a sweet touch from that area. Pass to Houston. Takes the three. Trains the three-pointer. Houston's got his second bucket of the night. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
minutes for Paul. He's coming off an excellent season. And as one of the NBA's top five scorers, you also can't forget what an outstanding year he had offensively. And dropping a lot of dimes, he led the league in assists because he's the ultimate competitor, an absolute magician with the basketball. Here's Paul. He's got seven. And it's blocked. Now Johnson. Here's Sprewell. And there's another one for the Knicks. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Medics set the pick for Paul. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the three ball. Three Paul's ball. got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Los Angeles. To the wing right side. Here's Ward. Defended by Paul. Pass to Houston. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Clippers trail by four. Barnes outside. Paul outside. A three. And another three for the Clippers. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. And there's the pass to Houston. Now the dish to Johnson. Here's the three. Houston shots good. Houston's got his third bucket of the night. The D has to know Houston is looking for revenge in these moments. Nice triple there. Griffin sets the screen for Paul to the paint. And Griffin slams it in. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Ewing. Here's Houston. From deep. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Barnes outside. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going to win. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Los Angeles calls timeout. in for New York for the Clippers now here the 2k leaderboard with last season's top rebounding teams in third the Knicks boy their rebounding last year was phenomenal great fundamentals aggressive to the ball that helped them pull down a lot of second chances
And here's Collison who will bring it up for the Clippers. Four-point game. And here's Crawford. Turkaloo outside. Outside Collison. Just five to shoot. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Here's Warren. Pass to Houston. New York needs to get off a shot. Ward, good. Now it's a seven-point Knicks lead. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. The Clippers have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Outside Collison. Ranger against Johnson. Ranger passes to Collison. Poked away. Here's Ward. He has six. Pass to Sprewell. Here's Houston. Three pointer. Him. It's good on the putback. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Top of the key, Dudley. Back to Crawford. Dudley with a screen for Crawford. Over Camby. Los Angeles with another miss. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. you got to be tough down in the paint. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. Now here's Camby. Eight points his last outing. Johnson inside. Guarded by Crawford. Shot by Johnson. No good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Granger. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. The Knicks leading by seven. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. The pass to Dudley. Pulls up. High post. Crawford, no luck. A uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Shot by Johnson, no good. Clippers trail by nine. Passes it to Granger. The kick out to Collison. Back to Granger. Dudley with a screen for Granger. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. The word you hear most about Granger is efficient. Good, good for mid-range, draws a lot of fouls, can score even when the D has all of his attention. And he makes the first. The 2023 season, DB, had a bitter end for the Clippers in the first round of the playoffs. Now, Kevin, it is always difficult when the primary storyline for your team in a season is the injuries and the unavailability of your players. That is what cost the Clippers in the end. And the free throw is good from Granger. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Brunson the pass to Thomas. Back to Brunson. Crawford with the steal. Pass to Collison. Pulls up from the corner. That one doesn't go. 
Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Stolen by Douglas. Granger dishes to Collison. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. From deep, Turkaloo. It's good from long range. A big guy with great range. The defense can't let Turkaloo find his spots at the arc. Now here's Brunson. Seconds left. Second chance shot. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are. The previous play is under review. And the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Switch the call. There is no doubt. And looking at the replay, that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. And so it's New York with a six point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And so far, they've been getting it done down in the post. Outsmarting and outworking the defense to get their baskets. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. The Knicks leading by six. So with Ewing sitting on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Wingate is out there with Ward. Then it's Johnson, and it's Sprewell in at the small forward position. Johnson with a screen on Barnes. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. pretty well the Clippers grab the miss they couldn't put the pieces together losing the last matchup with the Lakers and defensively in that one they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd and that's obviously easier said than done I'll tell you this it looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible the problem is their defense went with them here's Sprewell following the score by Jamal Crawford Dudley with a screen on Barnes. Doris, when you and I think about the playoffs back in the bubble, you can see how much of an impact the fans have during games. Personally, Kevin, I hope never to see a bubble again because the energy and the atmosphere inside NBA arenas is so electric you can almost reach out and touch it. And obviously the players love the opportunity to perform in front of their home fans.
and he knocks down the first one. Hey, Doris, you grew up in New York. The pressure of playing in the big city, is that a real thing? Oh, absolutely, Kevin. If you're playing in the media capital of the world, everything is magnified. And I think that holds true for the other respective large cities. Los Angeles and Chicago come to mind. That one misses. Yeah, you, you can't doubt that Sprewell has the talent. When focused, he's an incredibly efficient scorer as well. Now here's Collison. Nothing on the board, and they get it back. Crawford looking over the floor. And another three for the Clippers. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. There's the pick. Here's Houston. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Houston's got 12 points in the game. There's the feed to Barnes. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And that one's good, Hollins. The Knicks leading by three. Pass to Houston. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And what a huge performance for him. I mean, he drained three three-pointers in that first quarter, and he's got two more here in the second. Now here's Barnes. 11 points for him in that last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Hollins with it. He's against Hewitt. Lock at six. Hollins kicks to Barnes. Collison for three. It's hauled in by Larry Johnson. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. The pass to Ewing. Over Hollins. And again, it's New York. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Here's Collison. Patrick Ewing picking up that last basket. Crawford outside. Passes it to Griffin. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. Blake Griffin beating very solid defense with better offense. You'll love that assertive mentality. Sprewell, the pass to Houston. And another three for New York. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. And the Clippers call time here. Los Angeles with some changes. Reddit right, comes in for Jamal Crawford. And Chris Paul's subbed in for Darren Collison.
And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Clippers. They trail by nine points. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Now here's Barnes. He has yet to score. And again, no good by the Clippers. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Pass to Houston. Here's Ewing. He's covered by Hollins. A jump hook, and Hollins pulls it down. Clippers trail by nine. Paul for three. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. Chris Paul is keeping his foot on the gas pedal. This guy is in attack mode. To the inside. Houston. Boom, he jams it straight down. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. Los Angeles has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Paul kicks to Griffin. Here's Reddick. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Reddick's got seven points. Yeah, fantastic feed from the big man. Blake Griffin's feel for when his guys are open is truly special. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Blues checked in for Ryan Howens, and it's Reggie Bullock in for Matt Barnes. Pass to Ewing. Over Griffin. Ewing, good. Ewing's got four points in the quarter. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Here's Paul. He's got 16. He dishes it to Turkaloo. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Ewing against Griffin. No good. Shot missing. Excellent defense there from Ewing. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. They shoot again. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Sprewell's got the lead up to 10 now for the Knicks. Paul with the ball to the middle. Reddick passes to Turkaloo. Five to shoot. From past the arc. It's rebounded by New York. Sprewell's got rebound number five here tonight.
down low. Got a piece of it. Here's Ewing. Shoots over Griffin. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. The Knicks have converted one of two free throws so far today. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line. About 76% altogether. Shooting two. Good from Ewing. The Knicks making a switch here. Browns checked in. Both free throws good from Ewing. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Now Paul. 20 points for him last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Ewing kicks to Brown. They set the pick. Outside Thomas. For the three. It's rebounded by Paul. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. Trying to get something going. And the layup is good. Paul's got 18 points. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. The Knicks leading by 10. Childs defended by Paul. Here's Ewing. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Paul outside. Inside. Turkaloo passes to Griffin. Basket is good. The assist from Turkaloo. From Griffin's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Clippers. The Knicks have gone eight of thirteen in the second quarter, well above the fifty percent mark from the field. They set the screen. Brown outside to the paint. Griffin with the steal. Kicks it to Paul. And the pass to Bullock. And here's Reddick. Paul outside. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Griffin's shot is off. And hard work on the glass once again, guys. And they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Reddick with the double team. Puts up a three. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Knicks lead by 11. You know, the rest of the D can be stretched a little thin with the double teams in place like that. Passes to Bullock. Fires the three. Buries it from three-point range. Now CP3 knows every string to pull on the offensive end. What a pretty pass. Ewing left side. Shoots over Griffin. A nice shot by Ewing. Ewing's got 18 points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. Sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. Tipped away. Paul with the steal. Reddick passes to Paul. Nails the wide open jump shot. Paul's got 20 points. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. 151 left in the first half of basketball.
pass to Houston. Child. It's tipped. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Eight-point game. Turkaloo outside. And here's Bullock from the arc. It's rebounded by New York. Ewing's got six rebounds in the game. Ewing, a screen on Paul. Feeds it to Ewing. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. And one reason why Ewing is not only an all-star talent, but a Hall of Fame talent. Awesome at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Pass to Griffin. Shot from 16. Houston pulls it in. Houston's got six rebounds now in the game. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. Basket is good. The assist from Turkaloo. Paul's got nine points now in the quarter. Forty-four seconds left to play here in the half. There's the pass to Houston. Bounce pass, Thomas, and the foul against Hito Turkle. That is his first foul of the game. Ryan Owens, he's checked in for the Clippers. Barnes comes in for Reggie Bullock. Los Angeles on D, trailing here by eight. Shoots from 14, and it's pretty well missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. There's the steal. Here's Ward, defended by Paul. Camby passes to Sprewell. Beyond the arc. With the clock running down. Sends it home. What a shot. You want drama? We've got drama. That's the way to end a quarter. That is a way to fire him up, fire up the team. What a tremendous play. And so we conclude the first half. Next lead by 11. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Here with Tom Thibodeau. Coach, what has gone well for your team in the first half? Started making plays, you know, play unselfishly, force the defense to shift, attack, get downhill, then make a play. Your guys followed the instructions to the letter. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the New York Knicks. This lead was built on their aggressiveness. Great work on the offensive boards. Has the extra possessions piling up. Yeah, it's been a big difference maker. I mean, tough to beat a team that takes two or three shots every time up the floor. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. Looking at the Knicks, They've had some hiccups early on, but I don't think that takes away from the potential of this team. With their talent and coaching, they could easily mount a challenge for the top spot before it's over. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. 
Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. They've got J.J. Redick. Ryan Hollins is out there with Griffin. And it's Chris Paul. And it's Barnes. And at the three. Here's Ward. Redick with a double team. Just five on the clock. Ewing. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Clippers trail by 11. Barnes passes to Paul. Back to Barnes. Reddick for three. It's rebounded by Ewing. Ewing's got seven rebounds in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Johnson against Griffin. From about 19 feet. And that's good. We're two. Griffin's got 10. When Blake Griffin entered the league, you didn't have to guard him on the perimeter. But how comfortable is he right there in the mid-range? That's because of the work put in, guys. Here's Ward. Six points for him. Johnson outside. It's Ewing high post. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Ewing's got 22 points. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Los Angeles. 11-point game. Passes it to Griffin. Back to Paul. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Larry Johnson picks one up. Well, the defense gives Griffin their best effort on the interior, but this guy just has an understanding of how to draw that contact. The Clippers have shot 80% from the line tonight, going four of five so far. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Boy, guys, you have to applaud Blake Griffin's willingness to go from star to role player. There are guys who cannot handle that adjustment, but he has thrived in this new role. And he sinks the second. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And taken away by Paul. On the wing, Barnes. Paul outside. Six to shoot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Well, let's take a look at last year's top scorers. Fifth on the list, Chris Paul. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Shot clock at two. Here's Griffin. And he can't bank that one in. New York leading by 10. Here's Ewing. The 17-footer goes down. Ewing's got 24. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Paul kicks to Reddick. Pass to Griffin. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Clippers moving the ball around. Looks for Paul. Hits it to him. Here's Ward. He's got six. Pass to Sprewell. Here's Ward. The pass to Houston. Johnson, wide open, he fires! 
good on the three-point shot. Johnson's got five now. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. And here is Los Angeles now, after New York gets the three. Here's Griffin, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Blake Griffin's game is now all about savvy and experience, and he draws the defender into a foul there. Nicely done. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. The Knicks leading by 14. Or the pass to Sprewell. Here's Ward. He's got six. Passes it to Houston. Lock at six. In close. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Griffin's got six rebounds here tonight. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. Barnes kicks to Griffin. Pass to Hollins. Paul for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Ewing's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Right now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, the league says it wants every team to play to win, but all-star Kevin Durant said it's just not realistic, adding, each year only a few teams can win it. If you're not going to be a playoff or play-in team, might as well go for a top pick, get some reps for guys who ordinarily wouldn't make the rotation, and maybe change their lives as well. Kevin? And that's an interesting take. Thanks, DA. Los Angeles calls timeout. Has checked in for Johnson. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Jared Dudley's checked in for Ryan Hollins. Here is Paul. 22 points for him. He kicks it to Barnes. Pass to Griffin. Five on the clock. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Griffin's got six points in the quarter. 
Well, this is where Blake does a lot of his damage. He is such a tough matchup in the painted area. The Knicks leading by 14. Here's Sprewell. He's got 12. The pass to Ewing. And the rebound goes to Griffin. Griffin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Ball outside. Over to the wing. Dudley finds Reddick. Ball for three. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Absolutely automatic in catch and shoot situations. Go ahead, CP3. We see you. Or the pass to Ewing. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Thomas, some nice passing by New York here. Here's Sprewell, defended by Turkle. Shot clock at five. Sprewell, that's good. Sprewell's got 14 points for the game. And how about Sprewell mixing it up inside, getting to a high percentage look there. Now, here's Bullock. Pass to Primo. Tires from deep. And another three for the Clippers. You can't just stop. When there's a pick set up, got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. And so here is New York. Clippers able to drain the three. Pass to Houston. Launches a three. Ido Turkoglu with the rebound. Clippers trail by 10. To the left wing. Here's Primo. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Pass to Dudley. Here's Houston for three. And it's Primo with the rebound. Turkaloo outside over Sprewell. It'll go, and the New York Blue is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Turkaloo. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Houston shots good. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Next one, 81, 17. Here's Primo. Dishes it to Griffin. He gets that one. He's got 16. Well, Blake Griffin understands how to score through tough contests. Excellent finish inside. The Knicks leading by nine. Kicks to Dub. Here's Houston. And again, New York with the triple. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. And there's the pass to Primo. Turkoglu with it to the right side. Passes it to Griffin. Back to Dudley. Shot clock at six. And it's Bullock in the corner. Passed it up. The three. Houston pulls it in. Houston's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Shoots it up. And again, it's New York. Clippers trail by 14. Griffin sets the screen for Turkaloo. And it's off from three-point range. The Knicks have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. There's the double team at Turkaloo. Over to the left wing. Here's Thomas. 
And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Knicks. They've been the better team on the post all game long. Whenever they've worked it in low, they've been able to find success. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And the first one at the line is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both free throws good for Thomas. Here's Crawford. He has seven. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Crawford's got nine points. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. Runs in the pass to Thomas. Wingate against Greenberg. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. The Clippers third. Their three-point accuracy last year was exceptional, largely because of their patience. They would wait for the best look before pulling the trigger. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Wingate impeccable from the line since halftime. Collison against Brunson. Right side, Collison. The three from Dudley. That falls. Great assist by Darren Collison. It is such a treat to have a point guard like Collison. He is so effective orchestrating this offense. Pass to Wingate. Thomas down low and there's the foul and Darren Collison picks it up that'll be his second foul of the game Johnson he's checked in for New York and the Clippers making a change here as well Hollins has checked in Pass to Herrera. Johnson against Brown. Johnson, the pass to Herrera. And the clock. Over Crawford. And that one's good by Herrera. And the Knicks lead by 15. LA's on 3 of 7 from three point range here in quarter number three. Collison kicks to Granger. There's the drive. Good on the shot. Granger's got his second bucket tonight. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Brunson surveying the D. There's the dish to Johnson. New York moving the ball around. Passes to Campbell. Brunson with it. No good from outside. Now Crawford. Collison finds Crawford. It's rebounded by Campbell. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. At one point, they led by 16. 
Johnson down low. Browns there. Releases. A shot by Johnson. No good. Clippers trail by 13. Crawford outside. Fires the three. And another three for the Clippers. And here's Brunson. Pass to Johnson. Shoots over Brown. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. And so it's the New York Knicks going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Ewing is out there with Johnson. Then there's Ward. And it's Houston at the two guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Now here's Paul. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Here's Ward. Here's Houston. No good with the triple. Barnes outside. To the middle. Stolen by Ewing. To the inside. Sprewell. That's good. Sprewell's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Knicks. Knicks lead. 94. 82. Clippers trail by 12. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Paul. He dishes it to Barnes. Griffin kicks to Crawford. And Ewing with the block. And they're able to recover. Basket good. Here's Ward. Pass to Johnson. Driving the lane. And the layup is good. And the Knicks lead by 12. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Ball outside. It's rebounded by New York. Johnson with it. And the pass to Ward. Passes it to Sprewell. Those three pointers off the mark. Clippers trail by 12. Griffin kicks to Crawford. Outside Griffin. Back to Crawford. Griffin sets the screen for Crawford. To the middle. Stolen by Ewing. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Here's Houston. That's good. And Johnson with the assist. Houston's got 30. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Pass to Houston. It's up a three. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds in this game. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. 
It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the Clippers. Second personal foul. First team foul. Latrell Sprewell at the line. One shot. And it's Paul with the ball for the Clippers. They trail by 14. Outside Griffin. Down to five on the shot clock. Reddick passes to Griffin. Paul with the three. The Knicks pull it in. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. Here's Sprewell. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Paul for three. Sprewell grabs the miss. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy, just struggling to make shots right now. Here's Houston. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Clippers trail by 17. Paul outside. From the arc. And that's good. J.J. Redick for three. What confidence from the grizzled veteran. Redick is as automatic as it gets from downtown. Here's Sprewell. Pass to Ewing. Here's Moore. He kicks it to Johnson. Here's Sprewell. Wing shot on the way. Here's Ewing. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Clippers trail by 14. Outside, Reddick back to Paul. Johnson against Griffin. Kicks it out to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Good work defensively by Johnson. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. With the shot, misses the baby hook. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Griffin finds Paul. Riven sets the screen for Paul. That one, no good. The Knicks leading by 14. Houston, the pass to Sprewell. Here's Moore. Here's Sprewell. There's the pass to Houston. Good! Another from three. He's got this defense scrambling, and even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Reddick with the bucket. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Sprewell. Inside. Here's Ewing. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Ewing's got 28. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Pick works well there. Not much resistance. 
from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. The Knicks leading by 14. Pass to Houston. Here's Sprewell, covered by Barnes. Here's Moore. And a miss there on the triple. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And great, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement. Players in the G League night or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Now here's Paul. This guy is so good at getting his man in the air. You know you shouldn't bite on the pump fake by Chris Paul. Yeah, good luck, defender. It's so good. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Paul. He hits both from the strike. New York leading by 12. Pass to Ewing. Double team on Ewing. And the shot goes in. Ewing's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. L.A. has gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. From the paint, a nice shot by Griffin. Griffin. For New York, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Or the pass to Ewing. 14 feet away, and that one good. Ewing's got 32 points. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Paul dishes to Hollins. Back to Paul. Outside Griffin. Barnes passes to Paul. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Five to shoot. Hollins finds Reddick. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. After hitting only one from downtown in the first half, he's exploded with three cents. New York calls timeout. making a change here. Camby's checked in. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. Now, his perspective was to play like we're behind. He said, that's the energy we need right now. We haven't won anything yet. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. New York leading by 11. Johnson outside. Pass to Sprewell. Let's it go from 14. Right wing. Johnson outside. Houston, the pass to Johnson. And the shot is good from Johnson. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Clippers trail by 14. Ball outside. Kicks it to Hollins. Crawford passes to Griffin. Now here's Paul. Defense right on. Camby with the block. And they'll keep possession. And the Clippers call time here. for the Clippers. Reddick comes in for Jamal Crawford. And it's Collison in for Paul. Just four to shoot. Out to the right wing. Collison for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. The Knicks leading by 11. Sprewell, the pass to Ward. Pulls up. And it's Sprewell missing. The Clippers shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. Here's Griffin. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Johnson with a screen on Collison. Now the pass to Houston. And again for three. He's now set the team record for most threes in a game. Unreal. And a lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure. He's positive. The next one's going to go in. Or the pass to Johnson. Here's Sprewell. Now Johnson. Passes it to Houston. Three-pointer. Connects again from distance. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Knicks lead, 122. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Right side, Collison. 
Casper Reddick. Griffin a screen on Kuhn. Here's Reddick. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Larry Johnson picks one up. And statistically, more young players in the league today, Greg, than in decades past. Might be a reason the age limit wasn't lowered in this new CBA. Yeah, I mean, the veterans saying, hey, Take we're already having a tough time Two sticking stops. around. And I think having those guys helps on and off the court. First one falls for him. And throughout his career, Reddick has proven to be very consistent, an effective two-way player who gives it his all. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Jared Dudley's checked in for Ryan Hollins. Granger comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Crawford in for Barnes. And both free throws good for Reddick. The Knicks leading by 15. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Knicks. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them a four on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Patrick Ewing. Boy, you couldn't help but notice how well this guy protected the rim. There was an intimidation factor thanks to his defense. No easy shots in his neighborhood tonight. Here's more. Following the score by Jamal Crawford. Shot clock at six. Ward, good. And the Knicks lead by 16. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Here's Sprewell. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oldham. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Patrick Ewing.